today I'm going to show you what I keep in my beach bag and how I keep it organized. Um, I find these kind of videos really interesting. I know I just posted that whole big like what's in my bag series, purse organization series, but um, it's still summer so I figured this was a good time to post this video and I hope you guys enjoy it. So uh, the bag that I've been using for the beach is this bag by Lululemon. I bought this this spring and what I like about it is it's basically an oilcloth style bag which means it's really waterproof on the outside which is great for the beach or the pool. But another nice feature of it, not only is it like really nice and pretty, here I'll give you a better look of the whole thing, it actually has a little Lululemon clear emblem on the front. It's very big and roomy but not so big that it's like impossible to carry. But I'm just going to take my towels out so you can see I have my towels kind of folded in the top there. It actually has this really interesting interior where it, that separates. So this little, um, you can see this like drawstring interior separates completely from the bag, which I'm going to show you. Um, I guess I'll show you right now. It's actually held into the bag by snaps. There's four snaps, so I just unsnapped it. So not only can you like totally, um, you know, secure all your items just by pulling the drawstring closed. You can see it even has a little handle. This actually turns into an entirely separate bag. So this can be one bag and this can be another. I just thought that was, I've never seen anything like that. And I just thought that was so, so neat to have this. So like, you know, say you get really, really wet towels and you don't want your dry stuff to get all wet. You put your dry stuff in this bag because it's cloth and you can carry that as a bag and then you put all your wet stuff in this bag that's meant to hold wet things. So that, I thought that was really, really neat. Oh, there's a chip clip in here. That's random. Um, and the bag itself, you know, the outer portion has uh, one, uh, one little organizational pocket. It actually says stuff right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I have this little, I got this at Barnes & Noble's from the Jonathan Adler for Barnes & Noble collection. And it's again, it's sort of that oil cloth kind of laminated material. And I just keep some money in here and an occasional emergency card. And then my beach pass I usually keep in the front, but I pulled that out. Um, and that I just keep in the side because it's easy to access and pulls out. But I'm going to put this back in so I can show you better, you know, how I organize and what I keep in here. Um, I just, I've, have any of you ever seen a bag like this before? I just thought this was so interesting. I mean, this is, the little lemon stuff, as you probably well know, is pricey, but I think the quality is great. I know this bag will last me a long time. I did not have a beach bag prior to this. I, was, I would just use little totes that I have collected over the years, but they either get wet or like kind of gross and whatever. So, you guys saw that I had my towels in the top. It's hard to do this when you're not standing over the bag. But um, I'm just going to put them back in to give you the full effect. So the bag's very roomy. I don't have like a ton of stuff in there right now. But I have my two towels. I always bring two towels to the beach with me. So I have a smaller towel. And this is the towel that I clipped to my chair. Um, and I don't have my chair in here. But I will take a picture of my little beach chair and matching umbrella that I got from Target um, earlier like in the late spring. I don't know if they still carry it. It was right when they rolled out the beach stuff. Um, it's great for the beach. Uh, it's got a great feature where you can like put your face through and put your book like on the ground if you're laying down. It's really, really nice so your neck doesn't get like all cramped up from like, you know, if that makes sense. Um, I really like that chair and it's got a little shoulder strap so I have that on one arm and this on the other and I actually have a little umbrella that attaches to the chair as well to shade my face. Um, so I'll clip this to that chair and then I have this this is by Roxy I got this a few years ago and then I have this Vera Bradley towel that I got also a few years ago it's a bit bigger and plusher for when I go in the lake um, I just like to have a separate towel to get you know dry in than the one that's on my chair um, so I always have two towels like so and I, if, now you can see the inside of the bag you can see I don't have like a huge amount of things in there oops let me put my water bottle in there that's Part of the part of the deal. I don't have a huge amount of things in there, but um, it's all I really need at the beach when it's just me. So, first of all, I, this is 
because I just put it in. I have my water bottle. I got this at Target as well. And the great thing about this is it has a little cold pack insert. I'm actually going to go get it. So the whole reason I bought this water bottle this summer is because of this feature. So it has this little cold pack insert. Cool cool gear, that's <laughs> what it says on it, that I keep in my freezer. And then when I'm going to be out for a long time or going to the beach or something, you just put it on like so, and it keeps your water cool for a little bit, at least longer than it would without it. So that's a really nice feature. So I always bring this with me. You've got to stay hydrated when you're outside. I have this little terry cloth hat that I got from Juicy Couture many years ago that I just like because it folds up flat. So if I feel like I'm getting too much sun, even with my little... Um, umbrella. I'll pop that on my head. And then I have my little case of beach essentials. The case is from the container store. I got it during the travel sale. It's got a little sand on it. <laughs> but I'm going to go through that last. Then this inner pocket thing, the thing that I lifted out, actually, I mean this inner liner, I guess that would be a better word, has some organizational systems built into it. So it has three slip pockets on the sides and then one really, really large zip pocket. And in the zip pocket, that's where I'll put my wallet and my keys and my phone when um, I don't bring my purse with me to the beach, but I'll put those things in here when I'm getting out of my car and just leave my purse in the trunk if I have it with me. Um, I also have some feminine supplies in there, which I'm not gonna pull out because I don't feel like that's necessary. And then I have this little case. And this, I, all I have in here are little headphones. These are actually a gift in my latest birch box. I just threw these in here um, because I was using some headphones that I usually keep in my purse before, but now I have another set because I got these in my birch box. And when I'm using my iPhone as a music, you know, like as an iPod, out in the sun, I don't like to have my iPhone just like out in the sun. It just doesn't feel right. And also I don't want it to get like sand in it. I'll actually put my iPhone in this and just have like the little cord and zip it close and just have the little cord for the headphones sticking out and like keep this, you know, on top of the bag or whatever. So it doesn't get too hot, it's not in direct sunlight and it doesn't get too sandy. That might seem like a little weird, but that's just the way I am. The bag also comes with an extra hair tie built right in. Hey guys, so we've been at our Utah house and I think I mentioned when I filmed my beach bag version of this video that I would show also what I keep in my pool bag version um, and we're at, out at the family vacation home in Utah and we actually belong to a club that has a pool so I have a pool bag that lives out here um, and it's quite a bit bigger actually even than my beach bag because um, I keep a dog bed in it for Winnie because it's actually a dog friendly pool and so I like to bring her obviously wherever I can um, and so you'll see a lot of the things in this bag <laughs> with the exception of the dog bed are the same as what I have in my beach bag but I thought I'd just give you a quick run through and show you I actually got this bag from L.L. Bean I don't know four or five years ago um, it has my um, initials on it. I like it because it's really big and bright, but very lightweight. Um, it is not waterproof or water resistant like my beach bag, but um, I don't worry about that as much, I guess, at the pool, even though I think in certain pool situations I'd worry about it more, but it's, you know, it's like a private club, so I, there's always plenty of places to put my bag up on a chair or on a table. I don't have to worry about putting it on the ground. So the bag is great also because it has a lot of slip pockets on the outside and that's where I keep all the things that I just put in every time I go that would normally be in my purse. So in one I have, oh my camera case, my camera's not in there. <laughs> um, so I have my camera in with me because lately I've been vlogging for Vlogist on my other channel, My Housewife Life, so you can check that out if you want. And in the front I have my phone and I'd also have my wallet in there. And then in the side... Pocket. I also have some of these bokeh clips. I figured out what they're called. Um, we don't actually need them really at the chairs at the club, but um, you know, if we're on a boat or something, it's also useful to have them. And they're 
they're just kind of useful to have. So that's what I keep in the outside pockets. And then the inside of the bag, I'm going to have to take things out to get to the, there's one little zip pocket on the inside that I can't quite reach at yet. So I have the same water bottle from Target that I do at home um, with, that has the frozen insert. The frozen insert's actually in the freezer, um, but normally this would have water in it and the frozen insert to keep it cold. So I always bring my own water. And like I said, I have the dog bed. So that's the really mainly different thing. I have a big towel to sit on, just like at home, and then a littler towel to dry off with, and then another little towel for Winnie to sit on in case like the chair gets wet or something or a bed gets wet. Of course, I have a current book I'm reading. I actually just finished this. This is the third book in the Pretty Little Liars series. This is perfect. Just finished that. Um, and then I have a Cosmo, <laughs> just for fun, because um, I knew I'd run out of reading things to read because I didn't bring another one of those with me, another one of the Pretty Little Liars books. So I actually have the same little kit as I do and my pool, my beach bag at home. It's basically the same. It has pretty much identical things in it. A um, little Kleenex uh, packet in the front little zipper. Again, this case was from the container store. I got it from me. During the travel sale, I have the Healthy Sexy Hair um, Leave-In Conditioning Spray and a little brush and a little comb to go with it. Um, you know, just to make sure my hair stays not free. I have four different kinds of sunscreen. I'm like a huge sunscreen person, so I have Neutrogena Fresh Cooling Body Mist Sunblock in SPF 30, the Aveeno Hydro Sport in 30. Those are both sprays. And then I have the Aveeno Face SPF 30 and the Ultra Sheer Dry Touch by Neutrogena in SPF 30. Bottom of this little case, I just have two little lip smackers, um, SPF 24 lip balms, and a little hair clip because those come in handy when you want to get your hair up after it's been, you know, wet and stuff. But I really, really like this leave conditioner. I've been using it for the whole summer now whenever we're swimming, and it just works so well. Every time I get out of the pool or the lake or whatever, I just spritz it on, let it sit for a second before I comb through my hair, and just, it works so great. Then the last little things I have in this bag are just in this little pocket here. This bag also has a key fob, so I'll just hang the car keys on there when I go. Um, and the key fob actually will tuck into this pocket. That just makes sure I don't lose them. I have um, in that little zip pocket, which is right there, I have a little plastic baggie with um, waterproof band-aids in them because I am sporting an injury at the moment on my toe, so I like to have extras of those. And then um, a little set of headphones. I always like to carry those around in my pool bag in the case that I want to listen to my, um, I have all my music on my iPhone. So that's everything that I keep in my pool bag. And you can see that I organize it in a like almost identical manner to my beach bag at home. Um, those are my essentials. I'd love to know what your pool and beach summer bag essentials are if you feel like sharing please let me know and now we officially end the what's in my bag series for sure I know it's gone on for a long time and a lot of you are anxious for me to get back onto organizational projects it's just been hard because I haven't been home a whole lot lately but I hope to tackle some new projects soon um, and then next week I will do an updated look at my Philo facts for you guys. So um, I hope this was interesting and I have a couple more, like one or two more summer travel series videos going to go up the last couple weeks of summer, or the last couple weeks of August I should say, um, while I'm still traveling. And then when I get home in September, I should be back to hopefully a new real project in my house. So um, until then, I'll be around, you know, a little video here and there once a week. I'm doing my best. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you, that you guys are having a good summer and enjoying um, fun in the sun in a safe way, you know, sun protection. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.